Zoe, congratulations winning in Switzerland. Uh, you know, you've said that that was a really important competition for you and you really wanted to win it. Why is that? Yeah, um, yeah, it was definitely a special win for me because um, I've never won the Lark's Open before and it's a very prestigious and respected event in the sport. Um, Christy Pryor, another Kiwi female snowboarder, um, won it in 2015 and um, she was a huge inspiration for me. So I really wanted to um, tick that one off the competition bucket list. And I, and I've been I've been reading uh, you know what you did and your ability to to kind of make subtle changes in your runs mid course and things. But I just thought that you know rather than me try and clumsily explain this, you explain it to us exactly what what did you do on those runs? Yeah, for sure. So um, usually in a slope style final, there's three runs, but um, in Switzerland they historically do two run final, which means you only get two opportunities and. Um, myself, I usually um, fall and end it so that on my last run I have to, like the pressure's on and I have to put it down. So I was stoked that I put it down on my first run. Um, but yeah, for my for my run, I did a back blunt 270 on the first rail, front blunt 450 on the second rail, push back nine, front 10, back seven, and then a 50-50 up the last feature, the front one out, and then have one off the whale towel which probably sounds like gibberish but if you snowboard and ski um you understand what i'm saying right right well, i mean i love the, what is it the one is the 1270 talk me through that because that's numbers bigger than all of the others so that's about three four spins is it no the 270 is the smallest actually um the biggest is the 1080 which was on the second job for me which means um three full um, rotations and uh, it's got a bit of a cork in it so it doesn't look like you're just spinning on a on a top um, you like kind of do like a 540 into another 540 um, which is uh, complicated but it's a really fun trick and um, yeah I'm so good at it in my run. How physically fast are you going when, you know, has anyone measured you? Like, I mean, how many uh, kilometres an hour is it when you're actually doing those spins? Um, I'm actually not too sure. I We definitely, like, experience a lot of G-forces when we're in the air. Um, and that's the main thing. Um, I'm, I'm not really too sure. Okay. Do you do you concentrate like you know when ice skaters do those amazing you know you know they, they kind of finish their 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 routines and they you know do about twenty five thousand it looks like you know sort of spins and spins around. Apparently, you meant to concentrate on just one point and keep looking at that. Is that what you do as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, yeah, as you get uh, better and better, so when you start progressing to bigger spins, you come to learn that um, you know you. The more spin you add on, you're still only spotting um, and only looking at one point um, to know where you are, and the rest is feeling and um, experience. So, um, yeah, kind of completely blind for most of the trick, and and you use one time in the rotation to actually know where you are and slow it down. To land. My, my best silly question do, do you ever shut your eyes or not? Or is it your eyes open the whole time? Um, sometimes it feels like I've shut my eyes because I'm spinning so fast but right. no um, that would be crazy Zoe Sadowski is with us preparing for the X Games in Colorado and I've spoken to you about this before in previous interviews about how you know where you put these X Games on a real pinnacle for you you've always said that this is the ultimate in your sport do you still do you still feel that? Yeah definitely um, the X Games just has so much history in um, snowboarding and action sports that the event that everyone wants to show their best tricks at and the tricks that they've been working on all year. So, um, yeah, to do well at this event is definitely um, the biggest goal in snowboarding. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this week to ride the course and experience the X Games um, without COVID this time around, which is super exciting. And, yeah, it's going to be fun. Have you got any other tricks up your sleeve or you're not allowed to say? Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, when do you get a chance to actually just practice, train and, and, and actually work on new things? Mm, yeah, so for me, um, 
I train mostly in the New Zealand season and kind of spend my whole time down there when I'm at home um, trying to learn new tricks and um, hone in on some skills. So um, for me in New Zealand, I learned a switch backside 1260, which um, no female snowboarder had ever done before, and I'm still the only one to do it. So I'm hoping to put that down at X Games this week. And, um, and yeah, hopefully it all goes well. So that's a switchback twelve sixty. Okay, explain what. So w- w- explain <laughs> when we're looking at it. What are you doing? Yeah. So when I snowboard, naturally I snowboard left foot forward, and um, on a switchback twelve sixty, I'm swapping stances and I'm snowboarding with my right foot forward. And when I take off off the jump, I turn in the direction so that my back is facing down the hill, so it's blind. And I'll do three and a half rotations and then land left foot forward and um yeah it's a pretty scary trick to be honest so i'm stoked that i've uh managed to do it a couple times now and i um, feel confident with it so yeah wow let's say so, so when you practice something like that you must you must fall a lot do you um yeah definitely fall quite a bit um um, but like, I think as you get more experience snowboarding and, um, you learn different rotations that helps you with other rotations. So I feel like as you get better, you kind of fall less, but it's definitely a couple years in the making to land that trick. And I'm super stoked that, um, I finally managed to do it and I'm, yeah, really excited to try and land it this week. Because that's another entirely different bit of your sport, isn't it? Winning medals, winning competitions is one thing, but actually doing something that no one else on the planet has ever done before. Man, how cool is that? Yeah, it definitely feels pretty special when you um, get a NVD and, um, yeah, have that kind of title to your name. Um, So, yeah, and then once you do progress and get that next trick, you're always looking at... um, at the next one so that's what makes it so exciting and and keeps you pushing forgive me for being stupid zoe nvd what does that mean uh never been done <laughs> NVD. easy okay never been never nbd never been done oh, of course brilliant um are you better now or how much better are you now than you were at the last x games uh well that's a hard question i feel like um i've I, I guess I, I worked pretty hard in the New Zealand season and I hope that I've put in enough work to um, put a, du- a run down that I'm stoked on and um, build off last year. Um, but, you know, with snowboarding, it's also about being creative. So it's kind of hard to say better and stuff. But, you know, I hope I, hope I am. What and, and a couple more quick questions before we let you go. What you know? How what what kind of buzz is it winning? Is what you know compared to like doing something that no one's been done before, but winning these competitions. I mean, what does that feel like? Does it ever get? Does it do? do does it does it ever get old to you? Or every time does it is it, it does it feel more of a thrill than it was the last time? Um, it's definitely pretty. It's a pretty amazing feeling. Um, winning a comp or podiuming, just um. Just being at that level and knowing that you put a run down that um, you're super stoked on and managed to get the top spot is um, is a good, great feeling. Um, but yeah, I just hope uh, like for the future in my career, I just want to like ride my best and um, keep progressing and hopefully that comes with medals and wins and um, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's my plan. But how nerve wracking! I mean, what, you know, when you're sitting there like you did in Switzerland, where you've had a great run, and now you're waiting to see if somebody beats that. That just must be excruciating. Yeah, it's a pretty gnarly um, position to be in, um, but it happens a lot, and um, it is also super exciting because you also want your competitors to do well because um, a lot of us are friends and um, and want to see the sport progress. So yeah, it's always. Uh, Exciting, but no racking for sure. We've also got the Helberg, Helberg Awards coming up, and many of us on this side of the microphone are hoping that you take the whole, take the title and take it all out for what you, you know, you're winning your Olympic medals last year, your gold medals and things. And so, um, I don't know whether you're going to be home for that or not, but uh, you'll probably be on tour or something like that. But that's actually something really cool to look forward to as well, isn't it? 
Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, I mean, it would be a dream for sure to um, win a Halberg and I'm up against some pretty tough competitors. So, um, yeah, who knows what's going to happen. I hope I can make it back. But um, I think I'll be in the States uh, training and competing. So, yeah, I'm not too sure yet. But thank you. Well, all the very best. Lovely talking to you as always. I really thoroughly enjoy it. I learned so many new words. I knew so many new things. Um, but you know, you're you're an absolute superstar back here in New Zealand. We all follow your progress. And we all, you know, and I hope that uh, you receive a lot of messages of support. I don't know what to say to you. Snowboard well. Do all your tricks. Win this competition. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll try to do my best.